26, a Coral Springs firefighter turning himself in today on DUI manslaughter charges. He came face to face in court with the widow of the man who died in that crash. CBS 4's Kerry Cobb has been covering this story for us, and he's joining us now live from Fort Lauderdale. Kerry. Diane, since this accident last March, Coral Springs firefighter Sean Marlin knew this day might come when he would turn himself in on a charge of DUI manslaughter. Also, since that accident, the wife of the victim, John Hawkins, knew this day might come as well, a day she long awaited. And this is on uh, Sean Marlin. Mr. Marlin is present. Sean Marlin, a Coral Springs firefighter, turned himself in in a Broward courtroom Wednesday. He's accused of driving drunk after attending a St. Patrick's Day parade this year and hitting a group of motorcyclists stopped on the Florida Turnpike, killing one of them, John Hawkins. He destroyed my life, and I've been living in misery. Hawkins' wife Angela told a judge the couple was in South Florida to celebrate their 30th wedding anniversary. The prosecutor said during a bond hearing for Marlin that he showed signs of impairment that night and that the firefighter had a blood alcohol level of 0.11 above the legal limit. The defendant was drinking throughout the day at the parade. But Marlin's lawyer, Alan Bernstein, said this was a tragic accident. He said the blood taken from Marlin was left in an FHP car for several days and not tested right away. That's what the blood did. It sat in the car for three days. We can't rely on that blood. Marlon's mother described her son as a good man who became a firefighter to help others. He is ready to fight this and prove his innocence. But the judge gave Marlon a high bond, $156,000. He was taken to jail to be booked. Outside the courtroom, Angela Hawkins, who was injured in the crash that killed her husband, said she relives the accident over and over again. I repeat this accident, our life, our last minute together, every day, all day long. It's a movie plan. I can't cut it off. She said she wants Marlon to feel what it's like to be separated from something he loves, just as she is. When he killed my husband, he killed me. So it's like waking up the dead when you wake me up. I have nothing to look forward for to or from. Very, very sad. I spoke with the Coral Springs Fire Rescue today. A spokesperson there told me that Marlon has been suspended from the agency without pay. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.